I got stumped there for a little second. What I was doing wrong, but I was able to fix my code. So if you remember correctly, this was right up here, and same with this. And we were trying a couple different margins and paddings to try and get it, but it kept on doing empty space. So what we had to do was actually take our div class, page one, text sender, and put it around our nav pills and everything within it. And then at that, under nav pills, we just gave it a margin of about 10%. So if we do 0%, you'll see it comes back up. So uh, margin dash bottom, we want to push everything down by about 10%. So. And there we go. So that's all set to go. So where do we go next? So let's save that. And you can see you know, it's looking pretty neat, nifty. Um, nice nice looking little, little page. So let's go back to our code pin IO. And you see that it's just another background. Slim, similar length. And then we have an image. And then we have a heading and a uh, you know some text here. So let's go ahead and uh, create another uh, div. So we'll create a div right here, and we'll call this uh, div um, class equal to page two, and let's find page one here, and we'll just put it right below it, and we'll say um, dot page two, and in here we want to have a background colon URL which one did we want to have so let's go ahead and close a few of these out real quick um, this was the one that we used uh, right here so maybe we'll do this one or this one uh, I like this one so maybe if we go here oops where, or download that's where we get the URL that we need so this one's a vertical one hmm I still think it will look pretty cool so we're gonna put that in the URL for it and that will give us our page too we are then also going to, don't forget to get the semicolon, we're also going to say backgrounds dash size. And, you know, granted that we're going to be reusing probably a lot of this stuff, we might have want to create a, a, a class, a parent class to page one and page two, but we're not, we're not worried about that right now. So uh, we're going to have that cover it, and then we're just going to set the height to, again, 800 uh, pixels. So now when we go down, we should have a little something something going on down below here cool so nice little transition and then we have our our second page so what do we want to do here so we can start using in here so oh, don't forget to close the div either Ooh. all right so we close the div and what do we want to do now well, why don't we create some more divs? So we're gonna have a, we're gonna have one row for this, and uh, we're gonna use uh, the grid system that's used in here. We're gonna say div class is equal to row, and then we're just gonna say slash, and we're gonna say uh, slash div, and then we're gonna give each one of these div class, we're gonna set the columns. So we're gonna say column dash, we'll do medium dash six, and then we'll have uh, close that div arrow page two. All right, then close the div, and then we'll do one more of that. And uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is just copy, uh, look back at our page here, and infinite website. So for me, we'll just let's throw a uh, h. We can throw a h1 in, up in here, and we'll say. Let me look at my H1. Full on padding 5.0 M. That might be a little bit much. So let's just do H2 and see what it looks like. Slash H2. And this will be Dylan C. Israel. Alright, let's save that and let's take a look at down below what's going on here. So you see, alright, cool. There's there's my thing. Maybe we want it to be a little. Let's, let's see what it looks like with the H1. So, all right, that's, that's much better, actually. Um, so, let's add the, how did we center it? Text-center. Text-center. 
Now, I believe this should center it in our column. So you see how it centers it in our column and not in the whole page? That's because of this column in dash six. Perfect. So what else do we want to do? We want to add a paragraph. So slash P. And for the time being, we can just copy over whatever this guy has on his page and eventually work our way back to it. Um, cool. So let's, let's save this. And we want to look down at our stuff, see how it's looking. It's looking a little small. So uh, let's, for P tags, I don't think we've used the P tag. And this is one page, so everything's going to kind of be similar on here. So it's probably safe to do it. So uh, let's set a P tag that says font dash size is 3.0M. And let's see how that looks. So whatever the normal size is, it's going to be three times the size. So that, that's too big. Um, let's go down to two, and that's not too bad. Uh, let's try 2.5 or 2.2 actually, and then we're gonna give a little bit of padding. So we're gonna say um, padding dash top five percent, and. There we go. So that's going to move that down a little bit. And we're going to have a nice little little font here. And what we may end up doing is giving a little bit of a background to this just to be a little bit see-through because uh, this might be a little a bit easier to read on that. But we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Um, so maybe we'll want to put a, uh, a horizontal roll. Let's see what that looks like. Um, see if it's any good. A lot of times, if I remember correctly, the HR... Slash isn't all that great. So let's see here. Uh, so just HR? Yeah, so we're not we're not gonna be using that. Uh, and I don't feel like styling a, a line. So at this point, we have our first page, we have our next one, and then we need an image. So let's go ahead and save this. Go get an image. Hey guys, I went and I got my image. So in this case, we are using an image from my site. So uh, image src equals. So wherever your image is stored on the internet, go and do that. In this case, I have one. I have a website, and so you can see right here, it's taking up exactly half the page. It's much too big. Uh, we need to zoom in on that a little bit. It's one of my favorite pictures I've ever, <laughs> I've ever had taken of me. Uh, if you can't notice, that is actually a cat licking my beard while I'm playing League of Legends. The woman from Target, when we had these develop, thought it was like a ridiculous amount of orange chest hair when she kind of glanced over and she's telling me this. Uh, when we, Walmart, when we picked up Walmart. Some things that will only happen at Walmart. So uh, I think we're only going to put in one image here uh, for this. So we can just mess with that, although it's probably bad convention to just mess with it. IMG, IMG. So we'll, s oops. Why don't we give it, why don't we get it, uh, we'll give it a class.me. Uh, and then we'll say uh, class equals me. Cool. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to bring the size down to... Let's try 50%. I don't even remember size as a correct parameter, but let's find out. So, all right. So, there's no such thing as size. So, uh, what do we put for the height? What am I doing? Oh, my God. So, height is 50%. Cool. Hmm. All right. Let's try... 400 px. There we go. All right, much better. So we didn't want it to be that big, so we set it at 400 px. Apparently, the image is bigger than I thought it was. Um, 400 px. There's that. Or it's probably better to do a percentage. So let's do like 10 percent. Oh, it won't work for height. Hmm. Thought we could do it that way. So 20. Uh, we'll do. Uh, 400 px and then now we want to center it uh, if you remember there was a text dash centered I believe that will work for images also so let's find out no 
No, it doesn't. All right. Easy enough to fix. I say now. Let's see if it works. Margin dash right. Auto. Margin dash left. Auto. Okay, so in theory that should have centered this. It did not. Hmm. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more. And also check out my new series, Let's Talk Code. It's going to have programming news, tips and tricks, a little bit of tech, and just a little bit of my own personal hobbies and preferences. So if you enjoy that, go ahead. It's very casual. Check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.